everyone. Welcome back to Science. I'm Miss Catherine, and I'm really glad that you decided to join me again today. Today, we're going to continue in our Matter and Energy and Ecosystems unit with Lesson 1.2. And this lesson is called Carbon Dioxide in Ecosystems. What you will need today, as usual, is a pen or a pencil and some blank or lined paper um, so that you can follow along and record your ideas. If you have access to Amplify online, that would be great, um, but it's not required. And we are going to be doing a reading today called A Feast for Decomposers. So if your school or your school district provided a printed copy of the article set, A Feast for Decomposers, uh, make sure you have that handy and within reach. Otherwise, you can follow along with me on my screen as I read when we get to that part today. And then lastly, friend or family member is always encouraged so you can share your ideas about what it is we are figuring. And um, if you're following along, again, on Amplify, there is your click path to get to our Matter and Energy and Ecosystems, Chapter 2, Lesson 2.1. And on your paper here is how I would like you to have that set up. Go ahead and pause the video so you can get these things done and ready for today. As we start today, um, we're going to do the warm up, which is Activity 1, if you're following along in Amplify. And this warm is reminding us that at the end of the last lesson, we figured out that there wasn't enough carbon dioxide in the biodome's air, which caused a decrease in the energy storage molecules inside the biodome because the producers are those plants that uh, create the energy storage molecules from the carbon dioxide in the air, along with water and sunlight, didn't have enough of this abiotic carbon from the carbon dioxide to turn into these energy storage molecules. Um, so at this time, go ahead and pause the video and either in Amplify in Activity 1 or on your paper, let's go ahead and answer this question. What are some ideas you have about what might have caused the decrease in carbon dioxide? One thing that makes sense to me about this question is, well, if I want to know what caused the decrease in carbon dioxide, maybe I need to think about where the carbon dioxide comes from. And I know that as a human, when I breathe out, I breathe out part of carbon dioxide in that, in that air that I'm exhaling. And so maybe there's some connection there between um, the people or the other animals that breathe out carbon dioxide as why there maybe wasn't enough in the atmosphere, in the air of the biodome. So again, last chapter, we realized that there wasn't enough carbon dioxide in the air, and so therefore those producers didn't have enough carbon available to them to make our energy storage molecules, and therefore our plants and our animals didn't have the energy that they needed to survive. Um, so now in chapter two, we're gonna think about the cause of that. So what caused carbon dioxide to decrease in the air? of the biodome. So what was causing this decrease of abiotic carbon matter within the biodome? Since we now know that this decrease of carbon dioxide is the culprit or is the cause of why our producers did not make enough energy storage molecules. So we're going to get down um, today to start some initial ideas about where we believe carbon dioxide um, can be found. Because again, if I'm going to say why the carbon dioxide decreased, I need to think about where it comes from in the first place. That's a logical connection, okay? Um, so we're gonna move into activity two now in Amplify if you're following along. And it's a sorting tool activity. Um, so when you're ready, you're gonna go ahead and pause this video and use the carbon dioxide in ecosystem sorting tool, or on your paper, create your own two column chart that looks like this to show your ideas about which parts of an ecosystem do and do not give off carbon dioxide. And you have some options here. So one column says gives off carbon dioxide, one column says does not give off carbon dioxide. And you're going to list out of these options which column you believe they are a part of. So we have soil bacteria, we have fallen leaves, mushrooms, um, a plant, a snail, and a snake. And this is, if you're in Amplify, I'm going to 
go to activity two, this is what it will look like. So again, when you're ready, pause the video and go ahead and sort these components into our two column table of which ones you think give off carbon dioxide and which ones you think do not.